Okay, so I haven't seen this video, February 13th, 2024, but what I have seen is this. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, Creaker round table statement. I watched this early this morning. Someone hit me up with this on Instagram. Shout out to Jesse. Thank you for sending me this. Yeah, I saw this this morning. I don't know why it says that I, I hate when it fucking does that. When it says I've watched something and I fucking haven't. I think I hovered over that shit for too long. I saw this one and I think I have a roundabout idea who the fuck he's talking about in Creaker roundtable statement. And I have, I have a couple of theories. It's not really a couple, bro. It really is just one theory that I have. I, I, I can't really think of anyone else that he could have been talking about in Creaker round table statement. Um, but here we go. Well, looks like I ain't got to tell you who it is no more. A lot of people think this is about me. That's exactly who I was fucking thinking. Here's what I'll say. Bro, what? Hey, dog. Uh, so, oh, so... Calhoun commented... Calhoun commented on the last video? The roundtable video? Air me out. Empty the mag. Get everything about me out there. Fuck it. At the end of the day, like I always say, brother, I'll always be there if you need me. I feel like I've always owed you that. Send that bitch. Ugh. <sighs> What the fuck is going on? Adam Calhoun. You know, because I did see one of Church's community posts, and his community post said, done with the Tom McDonald shit, now I'm about to aim at someone that I'm really pissed at. Or something, something to that effect is what I read. And when I read that, I did not think he was talking about Adam Calhoun, right? So, <sighs> hey dog, air me out, empty the mag, get everything about me out there. Fuck it. End of the day, like I always say, oh. Man, you know, you know what this reads like to me, man? This seems like Adam Calhoun saw this coming. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I, that's what it, that's, that's the vibe I get reading what he wrote. Almost like he knew this was coming. A way of him admitting his guilt. Kind of like, you ever see those scenes in those movies? You know, you know, it's a good example. You know what's a good example? Terminal list. Y'all remember on the terminal list, whenever it came out that his fucking, what was it, his brother was, the, was also in on all of the bullshit, right? And his, I think it was his brother or his best friend. I can't remember. Anyways, he takes the gun and he's like, here, do it. That's kind of what it seems like. Kind of what it seems like. He's like, it's like, it's almost like with this, with this post, it's almost like Adam Calhoun is saying, here's the gun, man. Go ahead. I understand that you have to do this. And that's like, that just speaks volumes, almost like Calhoun knows he's guilty of something. Or, and if he's not guilty, he fucked up in some way somehow. And he knows he fucked up, and the cat's out of the bag, and that's, oh man. You of all people, after everything you stand for, you preach, after all the things you said about 
we should get the genre together and all this shit. You have to end up like one of them. You know how disappointing that is, bro? Not just for me. You know how disappointing that is for the fucking listener? For the ones that grew up listening to this country rap shit? Bro, when I when I seen that comment, I was like, he knows it's him. I didn't even say a name in the video. Yeah, because I was, yeah, he, he didn't say a name in the video because I was like, uh, he has to be talking about, there's only one person that he could be talking about, man. There was no one else that came to mind in that video, at least to me anyway. I, I, I don't know about the rest of fucking Creek Squad. I don't know who y'all thought it was. Um, but when I saw the video, it was just like, I, I don't know, man. I've always looked at Church and Calhoun as like, you know, they were good homies, right? Maybe not like the like super, super duper BFFs, right? Like fucking, you know, stuff like that. But they were very good friends. That was like at least outside looking in from my perspective. And you feel guilty, bro. And you know what? You should feel fucking guilty, dog. Because I ain't never done shit to you except for help you, bro. I'm going to help you get the courage to even do this shit in the first place. You've already admitted that before in a fucking interview, multiple interviews. All the times that I've, I've, I've done singles with you, albums, music videos, made content, a bunch of shit I didn't have to do, a bunch of shit where I stopped what I was doing to help you, a bunch of fucking time that I wasted helping a motherfucker who just wanted to backstab me like 90% of the other fucking people. And use the last one I thought it would be. The fact that you... Oh. And it sucks too, man. It really does. Like, that line, what he just said, I feel it. Like, on a deep level. Never thought it'd be you, man. Never thought it'd be you. Right? And let me tell you, man. I can also speak from I can also speak from experience when I tell you that whenever you do get a knife in your back, man, it hurts so much worse when it's from someone that's that close. You know, you'll get stabbed in the back lots of times throughout your life. And for the most part, lots of it you can shake off, but it's these ones right here, man. The the ones that are just like right there in your back pocket, right? And you think it's good, but it really isn't. The fact that there was diss tracks you made against me during the times you did what? is so fucking stupid. Like, bro, like I said, I ain't never done nothing to you, fool. And then during the times that these diss tracks and shit was made was during some of the like roughest times of my fucking life. By the way, these diss tracks never came out. I was, I was, I was about to say that those never came out then, because we've never heard anything like that. I, diss tracks made on Upchurch by Adam Calhoun. I'm very curious to the dates of these diss tracks. Or maybe not. When did Upchurch and Adam Calhoun collaborate for the very first time? Whenever that was, these diss tracks were probably made a year to two years before that ever happened. I'm just theorizing here. It kind of seems like if these diss tracks were a thing and they did exist and Church actually heard them, and so these diss tracks happened before they ever even started working together, maybe? One of those things that, I don't know if I'll work with this guy, but if I don't, I got these diss tracks and I can always clout chase. Or maybe it's even worse, maybe y'all have been friends all this fucking time and these diss tracks are recent. And that's even worse. It's one thing to like, you know, before y'all ever even became cool, you make these diss tracks on some like, Oh, well, if I can't join them, then I'm just going to fight them, right? Rap battling, not whatever, whatever, right? But 
if that's not the case and y'all had been friends, you know, for a, a while now and y'all had worked together for a while now and then this was just something that was made and created by you, developed by you and done by you during the times that y'all were supposed to be, you know, in my eyes and probably even in church's eyes, really good friends. That's even worse, man. Anybody who's wondering... No, they were made, and then you would come hang out in my yard and smile on my fucking face. No wonder you're always fucking having anxiety, bro. Because you've been fucking hiding this shit for a long time. Even when I was fucking helping you. During a time when I was being sued in court by all these bums. Spending millions of dollars in court. During a time when I got robbed by my own fucking mother. Fucking millions of dollars. Spent a bunch of money on fucking houses for fucking people that I didn't even know. During a time where she destroyed my fucking house. I'm still fucking re remodeling this house from her fucking it up. You and your buddies out here trying to fuck my shit up even more. You secretly making diss tracks and shit about me. <laughs> And then coming to my house and smiling in my face. I've known about some shit for a while. I just didn't want to believe it. Especially since all the shit I've been through. You know, bro, and the shit just hurts, bro. It really does. It probably hurts him. And fuck, man, it hurts me just hearing him tell it. Really. Because we've all been there, man. Especially with a homie, bro. It's one thing to get cheated on by a girl. We all get cheated on by girls, right? It's nothing new. Hoes will be hoes, right? You can't blame the hoes, okay? You're the one that decided to fucking get wrapped around her finger. That's your fault, all right? But your homie, bro, like the bro code, like all that stuff, like always there for your homie. You never snitch on your homie. Like you never talk shit about your homie. You have, you always have, you always have your homies back. If someone else is talking shit about your homie, you're just like, Hey, shut the fuck up. That's my homie. Don't say it. If he's not here, if you wouldn't say it to his face. So just chill like that type of stuff. No, man, like that, that's what sucks, bro. That's what really sucks. And I, I I've been through it. Lost friends this way close homies that you thought bro and it's just like no bro you're just a bird like the rest i guess man and especially when it's like blindsiding like that almost to where like he even said it he's like i almost didn't even want to believe it yeah it's just worse when it's family man and i'm pretty sure that's what church considered calhoun was family the last thing i wanted to believe was that it was you being one of those shitty motherfuckers but shit i should have known i should have took a hint I mean, you're the middleman for every fucking thing, right? Middleman for the Bravo shit. Middleman for the Jelly Roll shit. Middleman for the Tom shit. Too e I even said that, too, in one of my reactions. The only reason I said that was because we were in conversation about the beef that was happening, and people were asking me, well, you know, well, what do you think Calhoun's going to say about all this? And, you know, my response to that was like... I don't think he should, man. It's just these two dudes beefing. Yeah, he's friends with them, but when they're done beefing, he's still friends with them, right? Not the case no more. I hope that I hope that Tom puts you in more of his albums in the future cuz you'll never make one with Church again. I guess we're going to I guess we're going to see now who's the most loyal. Who's the most loyal friend? Tom or Church? And we'll see in time, right? Cuz I have a feeling Church was ride or die for, for Adam. But now, the person that Adam is going to expect to fill those shoes in lieu of Church not being there is going to be Tom. Right? So, we'll see who's the better friend. Let's, we'll, we'll see, because, like, I, I'm pretty sure that Church was going to be willing to work with Adam forever. No matter what, bro. No matter what. Even if Adam Calhoun's numbers started to dip, right? Even, let's just say, let's entertain the fact that he started to fall off, right? Church would still work with him. Because they're close, man. They're homies. They're almost like family, right? Now that Church isn't that person anymore, naturally, Adam is going to look at Tom like he's that person. And we'll see how good of a friend Tom actually is. We'll see if Tom actually 
hangs around Adam as long as Church has and was willing to hang around Church. I think I said that correctly. Uh, if I fucked it up, you guys know what I mean. Weeks ago at my house, when you drove all the way when you drove all the way here in a fucking snowstorm to tell me, hey man, you should work it out with Tom. A bunch of shit to benefit you more. And your click of motherfuckers trying to get rid of my ass and discredit me. After all the love I've showed y'all, you and the other ones who's trying to do the same shit, discredit me and just fucking rob me and fucking try to make me look crazy and shit. For what? For what? I, I, and what were the diss tracks even for? What were the diss tracks even for? If Adam Calhoun and Church ever got into a diss battle, I would always, I always would have assumed that it would have been in like a playful nature. Like Church gets super baked one night and he calls up Adam like, bro, bro, let's just like, let's just have a rap battle and just like fucking roast each other and we'll put it in a song and shit. It'll be hilarious. I can understand something like that, but dude. So nobody would ever find out? What a waste of time. Like, make diss tracks and then never release them? I mean, I know why you wouldn't release them, because, you know, this. The Fallout. Right? What would be your reason to release them? Like Church said, I don't think he ever did anything to you. I mean, but like, I, we'll have to see what Adam says, man. We'll have to see what comes out of his corner and what comes from him in regards to all of this because this almost doesn't even seem real at, at, at this point like it's been one hell of a fucking week man you know you gotta be a shitty motherfucker to do that kind of shit while i'm going through all that and you know what i do got a fuck ton of shit on you and everybody else But you've already admitted to being a shitty motherfucker towards me. And out of respect for your family, I ain't gonna release none of it. Cause I'm a better man than you, bro. Damn. I just wanted to shed some light on how y'all mother- That's just like, oh, good lord. That just... Ugh. He said it all right there with that. That's just... It feels bad, man. I, I don't really know what else to say. I, <laughs> kind of just like... Damn, man. Damn. Motherfuckers do me in real life. And how y'all really be thinking about a motherfucker? And treating a motherfucker? And now they know. Yo, he's so, like... They're coming straight in. Dude, he's so sad. It's cra I can see it in his face. He's so sad and disappointed and just, like... Why, man? Like, I really thought we were cool. Like, why? It... For what? Like, what, like, what did I do? Like, did, what did I do? It... No, I, 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 I do. Devil, I want to hear what he has to say. I want to hear what he has to say. And if he doesn't have to say anything at all, you know what? That's fine. Yeah. I don't think anything else needs to be said. Really? Uh, if, if he knows that he's, he's guilty, man, then best course of action for him... This friendship's pretty much over, bro. Like, fucking Upchurch doesn't take kindly to getting fucked over, man. And uh, if he's anything like me, which I'm pretty sure he is, he's at a stage in his life where he's done giving fucking second chances. So um, this is pretty much it. Th th this is done. But it, for, for, for Adam, if all this is legitimately true, bro, the, the only thing he can do at this point is, like, actually call Upchurch on the phone 
and just apologize. That's it. That's it. Ask for forgiveness. Apologize. If he even wants to, he doesn't have to. But that'd be the best course of action. Just ask for forgiveness. You probably won't get it. And even if you do, y'all ain't friends anymore, man. That shit's over. Um, and then that's it. As far as explaining himself to us, he don't have to do that shit. Who the fuck are we to him? Right? Adam doesn't have to... I mean, I would love to hear what he'd have to say if he said anything at all, but he doesn't have to explain himself to me. He doesn't have to explain himself to you or anybody. Um, he doesn't have to include anyone in that conversation if he doesn't, if he, if he doesn't want to. He doesn't have to make it public at all. So at the very least, uh, ask for forgiveness. You learned a valuable lesson, and uh, that's it. I think, I think all parties have learned a valuable lesson, really. I don't know from church's from church's demeanor in this video. I don't even know if he'll make a diss track. It's just one of the like, and I, I I've been in these types of situations, man, where it's just like, it, sometimes you sometimes you feel so betrayed that you don't even want to get revenge, bro. You're just like, I'm just gonna fucking move on. That's it. Fuck it. Whatever. Learn my lesson. I got bit. It's never fucking happening again. I'm done. Whatever. Fucking moving on. Right? I know how that feels. And just from his demeanor, it almost seems like there might not be a diss track. But if there is, we're listening to it. That's for fucking sure.